Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Angry Monkey Games with your host, Angry Monkey. And, uh... I'm gonna get some health before we get mm -hmm. started here. So, like I said in a previous episode, you just come up here to Baby Chauncey's room, and there is a heart right there. Just waiting in that drawer. Okay. So, in the last episode, we left off where we defeated uh, both of these guys. We have Shivers, which I forgot to show in the previous episode. And so that's the description on him. And, oops. and here's Melody. She loves video games. Huh, it, it kind of fits that she's in a video game. Okay, so, um, our next room is the dining room. I'm gonna get some fire just in case I need it. One of these, yep, there we go. Some of these candles have fire in them. Um, now I will point out, this room is actually optional. You do not have to beat it. Clear up these banana peels here. And there we go, there's Mr. Lugs. No, I could serve it in this darkness. I'm not blowing with stuff in his face. No one, no one, no one, no one. That's nice. And I think there's a blue ghost in here. Yep. afraid that I would start sucking up Mr. Lug's cake. He wouldn't, or whatever that is, uh, he wouldn't like that. But that's how we get him angry. Oh yeah, okay, so we need to light up these candles. And so that's how we are able to see him. Uh, Mr. Lug's, uh, he's a glutton. Um, Although that's pretty obvious. Okay, so... Basically, we start to suck up his cake, or whatever. And then his butlers will come around to replace it. Uh, just suck those up. They don't, they don't really like to fight, so... Okay. And now, when his when his food is completely gone, then he'll freak out. So, oh no, I gotta gotta finish eating. <gasps> it's gone. How dare you? Yeah. So he'll start shooting fireballs. There's nothing you can do while he's shooting fireballs except obviously dodging out of the way and uh, try to keep an eye on him because he'll get tired really quickly huh. he's got more stamina than I thought yeah he's got a pretty heavy pull on him He's, he's a pretty heavy ghost, even though he is just a ghost. He's still pretty heavy. Come on. Come on, Mr. Fat Guy. Come on, gold frame, gold frame. Alright, got gold frame, and... Okay, and I, and I dodged a poison mushroom. Not that it matters. I, I got myself a gold frame. And the reason, if you don't know which ones are optional, you will know as soon as you open up the treasure chest. Because all you will is, all you'll get is just money. You won't get, like, a key or anything. And we, we could actually go straight into the kitchen without 
fighting Mr. Lugs. Um, but I'm going to capture all the boos and all the gallery ghosts. Boodacious. Oh, and I can't believe in the end of one of the previous episodes, I forgot to make the pun of everybody loves Kung Boo fighting. I can't believe I did not come up with that pun until later. Uh, so... Oh, the, uh... Thing is spiking up. I, I can see my uh, dialogue. It seems to be spiking up quite a bit, so... I don't know how this is going to turn out, so I apologize for that. Um... Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, uh, get some money. Gotta love money. Diamond... Guys love diamonds too, it's not just girls. And okay. So we are done in this room. And here is the kitchen. Gotta suck up all these uh, frying pans and everything. Uh, this is actually a pretty easy room. Um, oh no, the door is on fire. I'm stuck in this room. I need to like somehow spray some water on that. I wonder how I do that. I can't remember there's a blue ghost in here. I actually just guessed. Oh wow. <laughs> really close to that fire. And okay, nothing in there. There's money in there. Which means the only logical explanation for there to be a ghost is in the refrigerator. Um oh do not n knock on that refrigerator door. It'll swing open and hurt you. You gotta, you gotta shake it open with your vacuum. Yep. It's a good thing I grabbed some fire because I, I, I kind of forgot about this ghost. But it's like, oh yeah, I do need fire for this room. Um, fortunately, you can use as much fire as you want because you won't need it um, for the next room, which will actually be outside. So it's not actually a room. Yep. Oh, there's there's our first uh, boo bomb. <coughs> oh, I apologize for that. That was nasty. Uh, okay, so. Oh, where is he? Ah, he's trying to fool me. Yep. Yeah, that, those bulligans. All right. So, and then now we'll be able to uh, douse that fire because now our vacuum is a water gun. And Iyad will talk about all that. Uh, basically, um, to sum up everything that he is saying, some ghosts have fire seals around their hearts, kind of like the ice ghost, so we need to use uh, water on the fire ghost. Um, we can also use it to obviously put out fires and water plants. And so... Oh yeah, we also need it... Uh, we also need it for the next room. I keep saying room, but it's not really a room. It's just backyard. Um, so, oh, if you want to get a rank mansion, water this plant. And you need to remember, uh, this plant in, uh, areas two, which we're in area two right now, and then area three and four. That is the only way to get an A rank mansion, and that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to tell you on what happens. Um, oh yeah, this is Spooky the dog. He's only got uh, two legs. 
uh, he'll basically bark for a little bit. And... Yep, there we go. Mr. Bones comes up. We basically need to suck up Mr. Bones. And he'll leave a bone behind. And then now we can suck it up. Man. It sounds like I am abusing a dog. I don't abuse a dog. Ah. Ah. Okay. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Stupid poison mushroom got me silver frame. And I would have gotten a gold frame. I had a really strong hold on that ghost. Um, what's this say? What's written on that sign? Here lies Mr. Bones. Quiet! Yeah, Mr. Bones is not a nice guy. Okay, so we need to do this. This is kind of like um, the mouse holes. We go in here, and it takes us to a cemetery. Um, there's a sapphire, or a ruby. Okay, not a sapphire. Um, and... I can't remember... How do I... I don't remember how to do this. Oh, okay. Basically, they'll throw their bones and they'll collapse. Um, so, you dodge their bones. <laughs> These are funny ghosts. Um, fortunately and unfortunately, we won't see them again after this room. Because they, uh, it, it's actually really hard to uh, suck these guys up because uh, they always have a friend that's throwing a bone. Right. Okay, and that's telling us what we're supposed to do now. Um, I'm gonna get a little heart. Hopefully, there's still one left. Okay, and if you want to know why that gravestone is glowing, tune into the next episode of Angry Monkey Games. Um, so, see ya.